Hey, what's up guys, it's Victor here and Polkadot is heating up right now and that is expected because the crowd loan auctions are coming up very soon, 11th of November is the date. People are beginning to accumulate some Polkadot tokens in anticipation of the crowd loan auctions and one project that is top of our list for guaranteed slot as far as i'm concerned is akala and i've done a review of that particular project i'll be linking that video somewhere here and you can go watch that if you want to get up to speed as to what akala is all about but this particular video is going to be a quick summary of the things that are important for you to know if case you want to participate in this particular project and those include all those little bit of information that i think would help you to maximize your gains if you are participating in the Akala network. I will also be doing the same for Moonbeam as well as, as well as Astar. I could have combined everything into one video then the video becomes too long and becomes boring. And so try to make it, trying to make this as short as possible means that I would take each project individually. Before I proceed, I need to preface by saying I'm not a financial advisor. Please endeavor to do your own research before you make any investment decisions. And if you're new to this channel, you're welcome. On this platform, we talk about new cryptocurrency projects before they go mainstream. If that is something that's of interest to you, please feel free to subscribe to the channel as it encourages me to research these projects and bring them to your attention. So as a very brief summary, Akala is the decentralized finance network and liquidity hub for Polkadot. It's a layer one smart contract platform, which is scalable and also Ethereum compatible. It is optimized for DeFi with built-in liquidity and ready-made financial applications. In layman's terms, just look at it as like an app store for DeFi pro uh, protocols within the Polkadot network, but they are also able to take on DeFi projects that are already existing on Ethereum. Essentially, Ethereum applications or dApps would want to take advantage of the faster transaction speeds and more transactions per second, as well as low gas fees that will be existing on Polkadot. And so that's an incentive for them to bridge over to the parachain called Akala. As far as we are concerned, many of us are interested in the crowd loan auctions, which is the reason why you're probably watching this video. For this particular project, the token is called the ACA token, and there's going to be a fixed supply of 1 billion tokens that will be generated. It is deflationary in nature because no other tokens will be created as against other platforms like Moonbeam or a star where they have some level of inflation added on every year. The ACA tokens will be used for transaction fees, for staking and smart contracts, as well as pallets for node incentivization and for the governance of the network. Now, what exactly is the Akala crowd loan? Akala has chosen to host the crowd loan to trustlessly crowdsource DOT, which will be used to participate in the Polkadot parachain auction. This DOT will be bonded or locked up in the Polkadot relay chain for the duration of Akala's parachain lease. In layman's terms, for Akala to win a slot within the Polkadot parachain auction, they need to source for the DOT tokens from the members of the public, that is you and I, we need to contribute our Polkadot tokens towards Akala's efforts at winning the parachain auction. And once we do that, our Polkadot tokens will be locked up for a period of two years. And in that period, you will not have access to your Polkadot tokens, but in as a reward for your contribution, you will get the ACA tokens, some of which will be released immediately after the auctions which will take place in the 11th of november 2021 and the rest will be vested for that two-year period and you will get both the rest of your aca rewards as well as your original dot tokens at the end of the cycle so what are the ways by which we can participate we can participate through the akala official website using the polkadot.js browser extension we can also participate using exchanges as well as using mobile wallets for the exchanges they've announced already we have okx kucoin hobi and there might be additional wallets or exchanges rather that will be added to this list before the 11th of november if we visit KuCoin, for instance, you can see already from the finance link, you can see the pool X earn. Once you click on that particular link, it will lead you to this particular page where you have access to the Polkadot ecosystem. At this point in time, it's only reflecting the Kusama parachain slot auctions, some of which are still ongoing and you can participate in case you are interested in any of these projects that are ongoing right now. For the Polkadot side, however, it is not yet live on this um, 
it's not yet live on this website and do that will be made available i think as soon as the auctions are live and all you need to do is buy some polka dot tokens and transfer it to the um, pool x earn wallet in anticipation of the crowd loan in case that you wanted to use this platform however i need to make it clear to you that if you choose to use an exchange the rules of engagement will be different from what you have on the akala side i've heard that KuCoin or maybe kraken is charging a 10 percent fee for participating in the crowd loan i have not verified that yet but i do expect that there might be fees associated with using um, a, an exchange or an external wallet to participate in the crowd loan as against doing it directly on a Kala website or on polkadot.js. So the mobile wallets that have been announced includes the Poker Wallet, Fearless Wallet, Matt Wallet, and Nova Wallets. Any additional wallets may be announced before the 11th of November. In fact, they have put a disclaimer, like I mentioned earlier, that crowd loan via exchange or mobile wallet is provided by a third party, not Akala. Akala does not guarantee and does not assume any responsibility for the act or omissions of the third party, the performance of their products or services. And so that's, those are things you have to put in mind in case you wanted to use any of this wallet or an exchange to participate in the crowd loan auctions. So important facts that we have covered in previous videos includes the fact that the ACA, ACA rewards will be the same regardless of which method you use to participate. However, the volume of tokens that you will get as a reward will be proportional to the amount that you put in as well as the overall DOT contribution to the crowd loan auctions. And so the more DOT that are contributed towards the auctions, the lesser the amount of ACA tokens that you will get in reward. For the minimum contributions that you will need, they have actually stipulated the different minimum contribution methods. And one is if you're contributing to using the liquid crowd loan contribution, you need a minimum of one dot contribution. If you're making a direct polka dot contribution, you're going to make five dot contributions. If you're using the partner wallets, you need a five dot minimum contribution. And if you're trying to contribute using the, using any of the exchanges that they have mentioned, you might have to check on those specific websites as they will have their own specific rules regarding the crowd chain law auctions now for the vesting period your dot tokens will be locked for the full duration of akala's power chain lease which is two years however contributors have the options to participate through the liquid crowd loan we give them access to a liquidity in their dot contribution shortly after akala's launch and that is something i covered in a previous video i will link that somewhere up there in case you want to see what the lc dot is all about essentially it's another method where you have access to a loan that is one to one to the contribution of dots that you make to the akala crowd loan auction and that lc dot can be used for yield farming or for trading you can actually swap it for dot tokens and use it up to trade in some other way any way that you deem necessary but in order for you to retrieve your original dot tokens you will have to return the lc dot token so you have to keep that at the back of your mind also something that's also important for you to know is that they have suggested that the lc dot token although will be given on a one-to-one -one basis but after it has been released to you expect it to trade at a lower percentage than the original dot tokens that you have contributed and so in case you need to trade or involve yourself in any yield farming or protocol you have to make sure that the rewards that you will be getting from those networks or those systems will be enough to cover for that disparity in price of the lc dot tokens to your dot tokens because you would need the full value of the lc dots to get your original dot tokens back at the end of the cycle also, one other thing they've talked about the LC dot method is that the LC dot can be used in the interim before the ex before the vesting period of two years to retrieve your dot tokens. Meaning that any point in time, if you're no longer interested in participating in the crowd load auctions, if you have the LC dot tokens, you can present that back to Akala and they will give you your original dot tokens um, from the vault. But this essentially means that the LC dot method is not trustless. So you would have to have you would need to have confidence in the Akala team and in the in the ability to keep your polka dot tokens safe for the period of two years or for however long you intend to vest your tokens with them. For those of you asking if you can use wallets like Parity or Ledger, which are cold wallets, to participate in the power chain auctions, unfortunately the answer is no. There is no opportunity to use cold wallets to participate in this auction. And that is what it is at as at now. 
So the next important thing I believe that is vital to this project are the bonuses that are available and how can you get access to the bonuses and that is where signing up for their waitlist is important. I will provide a link in the video description below where you can actually fill in your email address and you can get started on what we call the Akala Quest. So the Akala Quest is a system that they created to educate users about Akala and to prepare them for the Akala crowd loan. As an incentive, users that complete all of the quests will receive an extra 2% ACA bonus on their Akala contributions and Akala NFT and their own referral code which entitles them to an additional 5% ACA bonus on referee contributions. So the Akala quest looks something like this and when you start to explore the quest, there are very simple things or simple tasks that you can actually accomplish. They do not cost you anything to do. The first one is for you to create a Polkadot account and connect your wallet. Now the wallet, uh, my own preference of choice is to make use of the Polkadot.js system which is just works which works similar to MetaMask, connects as an extension on your browser and you can have that wallet there. But for you to also complete this Akala quest, you will also need to have Poker Wallet on your mobile devices. And that is available for Android as well as iOS. And then there's a way for you to actually connect both of them together. It opened the browser extension and from here, the gears you can see allow QR camera access on the mobile application itself you can see the uh, the link to the qr code so once you do that your browser would scan your phone you place your phone towards the computer once you've enabled your browser to have access to your webcam and it will scan the code and it will connect both wallets together and that is why for instance on my platform here i have two wallets connected one is from my poker wallet and the other one is my polkadot.js wallet address why we need to connect both together i do not know um but you do not necessarily need to do this this is only necessary if you want to complete the quest i think it's just a way for them to get people to engage with their poker wallet um, mobile application because this project is actually tied to um, the poker wallet project i think they have the same co-founders as it were um, the second task is for you to verify your email address. Just click on the link to send a, a, a mail to your email address. Verify that and you've completed quest two. Quest three is to make sure you have some Polkadot tokens in your wallet. There are many ways by which you can do this. One way is by buying directly from this system here. It will provide you a link where you can actually purchase um, any amount of DOT tokens or you can actually buy from a number of exchanges which include Binance, Coinbase, Hobi, Qcoin, Git.io, Kraken and a host of others. From those different exchanges, you can now send your tokens from um, those exchanges to any of your addresses. But it has to be the address that you intend to use for contribution to the crowd loan because that is the address that will receive the bonuses, um, the referral bonuses, as well as the NFTs and those other items that are attached to completing the Akala quest. So quest number four is going to be uh, tied to the crowd loan itself where you have to contribute your dot tokens to the Akala crowd loan. And so this is almost like a way for you to understand how the system works as well as um, for you to get ready to contribute to the crowd loan once it, it once it's opened on the 11th of November. And quest five is for you to claim your NFT as well as your ACA rewards. So at this moment or at this point in time, the referral codes have not been distributed yet. Users on the waitlist that have completed the quest one and two will receive their referral code shortly after the Akala crowd loan launches. Users that are not on the waitlist will receive the referral codes after they complete quest number four. And so you do not necessarily need to um, you do not necessarily need to complete all those tasks for you to get uh, the referral code. But remember that the first two tasks will enable you to get access to the extra 2%. The quest number four will only give you access to the 5% referral code. They have some set of instructions, like I mentioned earlier, how to connect your Polkadot.js wallet extensions to your Poker Wallet mobile application. And I will be linking that in the video description below. If you have any questions or you get stuck, feel free to ask me. I will try to answer your questions, but it's simple and straightforward. So as a recap, the most important thing for you to do to participate in this project is to get a dot account and that it will 
and that you can do by downloading the polkadot.js wallet extension that you connect to your browser and then you'll be able to create a wallet the website looks sometimes something similar to this all you need to do is click this polkadot extension and you'll be able to add it to your chrome or your firefox browsers and i think those are the only two browsers that are supported at this point in time and once you have done that it would enable you to create your first wallet and once you create your wallet you have your wallet keys write down those keys and keep them somewhere safe um, do not expose them to where anybody can have access access to them because once you do that they can steal your tokens and there is no way for you to retrieve them back so for those of you that already have Polkadot tokens within your wallets that you want to use for this particular auction, make sure that they are already on staked and they are ready to be distributed to these crowd loan auctions. If you don't have them on staked, uh, it might take a while. I think there's a 28 day cooling period or exit period for which um, Polkadot would have your tokens in a cool down period. And so it might be too late right now in case um, you wanted to participate in the crowd loan auction for you to unstake and get ready because we are just a couple of days, maybe 10 days to the crowd loan auctions. But um, for those of you who have, have done that already, then maybe you need to count the dates and find out how long it will take for your tokens to be released and for you to be able to participate in these auctions. You cannot use stake tokens to participate in the crowd loan auction, unfortunately. I hope you guys understand the steps that you need to take to participate in this project. There are no required number of steps. Um, everybody would have a different path depending on what they are interested in. Some people may not be interested in completing their color quest. And so all you probably need is to have the Polkadot.js wallet address ready. Uh, for those of you that want to participate in that, you will need to have a Polkadot wallet address and that will be on your mobile device and which you have to connect to the browser extension for you to participate in that particular um, project. I might be wrong on that, but I, I do think that that's a requirement. If someone has better information on that, please feel free to drop a comment for us to uh, get on the same page. And if you're stuck, please feel free to ask questions. We'll try and figure it out together. Um, the auctions are starting in about 10 days from now. So this is about enough time for us to get ourselves ready and to prepare for the auction itself. And so that is all I have for today, guys. As soon as I have more information, I will bring it up to your attention. Um, the next video will most likely be the similar process for Moonbeam. And then the next one will probably be for Astar. Thanks for sticking up with me on this one, guys. Until I catch you on the very next one, stay winning.